Do you know why you should try Dubby Energy? Well, if you're looking for an energy supplement that is made for gamers by gamers, like myself over on Twitch whenever I have a chance, and you're looking for something to give you focus and energy without the jitters or crashes, then this is what you need. Dubby has no calories, no sugar, no fillers, and no artificial colors, and comes in unique flavors such as the brand new Blue Raspberry Big Energy Tears, Dragon Aid, which is a dragon fruit pink strawberry lemonade, and my personal favorite, Dub Sludge, the sour apple flavor. Dubby can contains only 10 ingredients including amino acids, vitamins, and neurofactor, a patented ingredient derived from coffee plants to help produce our personal brain neurotropic factors to increase focus and reflexes. And if you use my code keep on ranting, you will get a full 10% off your full order and get some dubby today by following that link in the description. Hello, I'm your super Hero Critic and I'll stay super as long as you stay awesome and welcome to the final episode of Game You Wear for 2023. That being said, let's get back to the horrible Street Fighter comics from 94. The cover is pretty basic, as it focuses on Saget and Ken fighting in an alleyway. The art is fine, it's not anything to go off of, and I don't really have anything to say. It's just Street Fighter art. Special poster inside! Aw, oh, I didn't get a poster with my online reading of this. I'll put it right here. In my empty space. Give me a poster. The issue, dubbed Claw by the Tiger, picks up right where the first one ends as Sagan attacks Ken, who is quick to go into a defensive stance. Was that a light? Or is that the sound of a fart? The fight continues, with Saget being a lot stronger than Ken, but he keeps fighting and dodging everything that Saget can throw at him. So this is one of the things that really bugs me in terms of the art choices for this. Normally when you have a panel that is sideways, you make the bubbles, thought bubbles and speech bubbles, you make those sideways as well so the reader would have to, you know, turn the comic. But for a couple of these panels, twice in two pages, you have Saget standing sideways in a panel. I don't know if it's just me being nitpicky and me just not liking those specific panels, but the artistic choice for it is so far-fetched. I, I, I just don't get it. Saget is dedicated to prove he's the strongest while Ken continues to egg him on to tease him but eventually tries to make a retreat just to get to safety. Stand still American! Now that would be stupid. Now I'm not a stupid American. I am an American but it's not like I voted for Trump. A limo pulls in the way of Ken's escape route with Balrog in the back seat to taunt Ken and enjoy the show. This allows Saget to get a couple cheap shots in on him before the two baddies begin arguing over who gets to kill Ken. Oh man, I never thought I'd see this. Two of the baddest street fighters in the world arguing over who buries me. Maybe if they're fighting over who's going to bury me, at least they'll pay for my funeral. Not make Ryu pay for it. Ken realizes he's being set up and tracked down despite wanting to stay in retirement. The fight then continues again as Balrog calls Bison to let him know what's going on with the unaliving of Ken. He is happy things are going how he wants it to as a random person becomes the next Bison victim, literally becoming decapitated. When did Street Fighter get fatalities? I know there are some gruesome moves in the games, but to my knowledge, they've never had, 
you know, brutal type of fighting like this. That is what Mortal Kombat was. Street Fighter was the PG Mortal Kombat of the 90s. Why is this so brutal? Bison celebrates with his newest recruit, the claw-wielding Vega, who declares that he's ready. Back with the fight, a crowd is starting to form, but no matter how much Ken fights, Saga just keeps getting up until Ken has to use a dragon punch. Now with extra dragon fruit! We get a small and random flashback on why Saget keeps on training as Balrog taunts the crowd into asking Ken for autographs. This, of course, distracts Ken, forcing him to save their lives, which just angers him more, but he, Saget continues his beatdown, eventually declaring himself the strongest in the world. Mark Henry would beg to differ! Things go dark as Balrog gives Saget a blade, leading to him blooding up a limp Ken. We then go to Ryu, who is meditating and thinking about his best friend Ken, as the two would spar and train, including their master, who does not exactly exist in the games, Shenlong. So you ignore my instructions and practice with weapons. Have I not told you that students of Xing Long have no need of weapons? Your bodies are your weapons. This comic sucks. The art is questionable. I... Their master, that's never actually on panel, attacks as a punishment before demanding to know how the two of them have come along with their chief fireballs. But Rio's reminiscing is broken as a car with no driver crashes into his home, and he investigates the crash, finding that his friend Ken has been scalped. Ending the comic. This comic sucks. The art is horrible. The story is bad. Bad, and you spend the entire comic in one single fight and you don't even get closure on it because the next issue completely ignores the second issue and then it gets cancelled beforehand so we don't even know what actually happens to Ken these comics got cancelled for a reason they're they're so far away from the source material, and I don't blame Capcom for dropping them. So, that being said, thank you for watching. I'm your superhero critic, and I'll stay super as long as you stay awesome.